is fantastic. Welcome back to the Independent Investor Channel. We roll these out to provide some clarity for any individual out there looking to become a dividend growth investor. It's a fantastic opportunity made possible through the power of M1 Finance. Um, I do everything I can possibly do to share my portfolios with the viewing audience. You can find those in the description below. Please understand the Independent Investor Channel is affiliated with M1 Finance. If you do click on any of the links, the channel can receive small compensation for me providing these testimonials to you guys. Please also be advised, um, I own two accounts with M1 Finance, both taxable brokerage account. I love the platform. I think it's a fantastic wealth building uh, platform. And I do also want to premise for those investors that are looking to get rich overnight, trade in and out of stock, M1 Finance is not your vehicle. Okay, go somewhere else. Uh, if you are interested in gaining wealth the way the masses can gain wealth over time, stick around. This can be very, very life-changing and in introducing uh, a platform that a lot of people don't know about, but are finding out uh, how powerful it is in wealth building. So I'm going to drop you into the portfolio and conduct the review. All right, guys, fantastic. So welcome into this dividend growth portfolio. This is uh, an example of uh, one of the strategies that I deploy. It's a dividend growth strategy using the technology that is uh, within the M1 Finance platform. I really love it. It's great for this type of opportunity. There, there are 69 holdings in this portfolio. Um, I'll provide links to this portfolio. You guys can review all 69 picks if that's what you want to do. Um, but this portfolio is one of two that I have with M1 Finance, both taxable brokerage accounts. Um, so to acknowledge the tax implication within this account, uh, I'm very careful with keeping the um, trades to a minimum, if, if, if at all. Uh, in other words, I'm very hands off on this program. Uh, I would put this more in the active category just by nature of the fact that I do own a lot of single stock. Uh, and there's obviously a lot of research that goes into that. Uh, very simple for me. I'm very aware and I cover the market uh, as a hobby. <laughs> I'm, I'm a dork like that. Um, but, but I'm very aware of these. But for the new investor, um, this um, might be interest, uh, interesting to you because the research has already been done. Uh, number one. Uh, number two, I, I think a lot of people are attracted to the idea of uh, being more of an active investor and pursuing more of a kind of a dividend growth type of profile. Um, now, if you looked at this portfolio and you didn't like how I have the sectors broken down and the picks that exist therein, you could adjust that to your liking, which is great. So the idea behind this is to take this as kind of a dividend growth framework. And that's the beauty of M1 Finance is that we can really accelerate the knowledge share out to the, to the masses and people who don't have the slightest lick of, of, of insight about the stock market or they're very unfamiliar with a lot of these companies that I have in here, it can really help give you a, a, a head start in looking at how somebody like myself with 25 years plus of experience in the market has broken down the sectors in the way that I have to comprise this dividend to growth portfolio. Now I do want to premise that this portfolio has gone through some changes. It has evolved over time. It initially started as an aggressive growth portfolio, which did really great. It did great. I was invested in Amazon, Google, Facebook, Uber, uh, Nvidia, some high growth stuff, some PayPal's of the world, etc. Um, and I leveraged out of those and I entered into phase two of this portfolio, which was the ARC portfolios, which was very, very short lived. I got cold feet. I liquidated that out after about a month of owning the ARC ETFs. They kind of had a blow off top and went up and, and gave me a really quick accelerated uh, little dab of profit in there. And, and, and I've leveraged it to this, which is phase three. And I look at this portfolio as being much more fundamentally based in nature, a portfolio that can really stand the test of time and one that I can really, really grow to something special. Now, the, the next uh, incentive threshold in this is 25,000. 
uh, and then 50 and then 100. But I've built this portfolio to house that hundred thousand dollar milestone and beyond okay in other words this is this is a dividend growth portfolio that i've got built my way <laughs> and so it allows me to kind of be the investor i want to be within this portfolio but we're doing quite well here you can see the invested dollars contributed we're almost up to a doubling so not too bad um, uh, that would be a, a 2x <laughs> of a portfolio, but uh, can't scoff at that. And then a little bit of earned dividends here. Um, this will start to really increase over time as the dividends are rendered on some of these because now the focus is uh, on those value and dividend paying companies. So we'll scroll down here. This is newly incepted now. So with all the volatility in the stock market that's uh, been going on, um, I'll jump into some of these. Technology's really taken a hit, but just to give you kind of an idea of what's in this particular slice, we've got Visa, Cisco, Broadcom, uh, Intel, a couple of these I don't own in the larger accounts, most of them actually, a couple of them I do, with Cisco and Visa uh, and IBM, but a couple of these I don't, right? So M1 Finance allows me to grab some exposure to these specific sectors within the dividend growth strategy and there might be companies out there that I don't want to own in the bigger accounts. Furthermore, as I fund this up, it allows me to kind of dollar cost average these names here. Healthcare is a great example of how I've built these slices. And again, I'm going to make this portfolio available to you guys uh, in the comments section. So click over and, and take a look. You can peruse through how I've custom built each of these slices. Again, you may look at UNH on the top end and say, I don't like that. I, you know, I, I, I want to do this exclusively and I want to add Johnson & Johnson as the top end healthcare. That's great. That doesn't work for me because I already own a big position in Johnson & Johnson uh, in my Roth IRA. So I built this portfolio as more of a complement to my larger accounts here uh, and also look to get some exposure to some of those companies that I don't own in, in my in my other account here. So, you know, I click into Staples here. I don't own Costco in my other account. I do, in fact, own it here uh, in the Staples category. And uh, it allows me to grab that, that a little bit of exposure and, and grow wealth. And that's what a lot of people miss about investing is they think it's just a, an overnight game. Growing wealth over time takes time. And that's really the key takeaway here is that this has become a lot more passive and, and a lot more in line with who I want to be as an investor. Um, but uh, I share this openly with you guys to provide uh, some insight on the very specific strategy of dividend growth investing over time. And with that, guys, we'll kick you back and we'll conclude the video. All right, guys, fantastic. So I really hope you appreciated this review of the dividend growth portfolio. This is all single stocks. Um, these are stocks that I don't necessarily want to own in my larger accounts, but good companies nonetheless pay the dividend. And uh, I look to organically grow this account over time with the power of M1 Finance. I'll fund it with a little bit uh, every couple of weeks, every month. Uh, and over time, we'll get this up to a sizable amount. I've built this to house a, a six-figure at least portfolio. And I do look at this as being a very, very important strategic angle to my overall wealth going forward. So guys, if you appreciate the message, and make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave your comments at the bottom of the video and share the message with anybody out there that you think may appreciate uh, my transparency and providing this testimonial over social media. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into the message and good luck in your investment future.